To rationalize the denominator of a radical expression, we want to eliminate the radical from the denominator. And when the denominator contains a sum or difference involving a square root, as we see here, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So for our first example, since the denominator is three plus square root seven, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by three minus square root seven. And to help remind us how to multiply, I think it's helpful to put these in parentheses, as well as here. So in the numerator, we're going to distribute negative two. So we'll have negative two times three, that's negative six. And then we'll have plus two square root seven. And now in the denominator, we'll have four products. First, we'll have three times three, that's nine. Then we'll have three times negative square root seven, that's minus three square root seven. Next we have positive square root seven times positive three, that's plus three square root seven. Notice how these two terms are opposites. And then we have positive square root seven times negative square root seven, that'll be minus the square root of seven times seven. Which because we have two equal factors, we'll simplify. So looking at the numerator, we'll have negative six, plus two square root seven. Now in the denominator, notice how the two middle terms again are opposites. So this simplifies to zero. Notice here we have the square root of seven times seven or the square root of seven squared. So this simplifies to seven, so we have nine minus seven, which is two. Now we're not quite done yet because the numerator and the denominator do share a common factor of two. So we'll go ahead and factor a two out of the numerator. We'd have two times the quantity negative three plus square root seven, all over two. And here we have two over two, which simplifies to one. So finally we have negative three plus square root seven. Let's take a look at our second example. So we're concerned about having this square root three in the denominator, and since we have a difference here, we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of nine minus square root three, which would be nine plus square root three. And again, we'll put everything in parentheses to help us multiply correctly. So now we'll have four products in the numerator as well as the denominator. So we'll have three times nine, that's 27 then three times square root three, that's three square root three. Negative square root two times nine, that's minus nine square root two. And then we have negative square root two times positive square root three, that's minus square root two times three, or square root six. And now in the denominator we'll have nine times nine, that's 81. And then nine times square root three, that's plus nine square root three. Next we have negative square root three times positive nine, which is minus nine square root three. Again, notice how we have opposites here. And then for the last product we have negative square root three times positive square root three, which would be minus the square root of three times three, which we can see is a perfect square and we'll simplify to three. Now looking at the numerator, notice how there are no like radicands and nothing simplifies, so nothing's gonna change here. And then for the denominator, again, these two terms are opposites, that would be zero. So we have 81 minus the square root of three squared, or just minus three, which would be 78. So this really does not seem simplified, but notice how the denominator no longer contains a square root. So the denominator is rationalized. 
Okay, hope you found this helpful.